This is a Debka file special presentation. With the Geneva Nuclear Accord still far from implementation a month after it was signed in Geneva, the United States and Iran are moving into stage two of their rapprochement. They are now fighting together to crush al-Qaeda terror in Iraq, Debka file's exclusive military sources report. Iraq is just two weeks into a major offensive for cutting al-Qaeda down, the first major military challenge the jihadists have faced in the past six years. Three armies are fighting alongside Iraq, the United States, Iran's al-Quds Brigade's officers, and Syria. Their mission is to foil al-Qaeda's drive for its first independent state in the Middle East across the Iraqi-Syrian frontier. Its Iraqi and Syrian branches, ISIS and the Nusra Front, have declared a holy war to this end under their commanders Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi and Abu Muhammad al-Golani. The Anbar province of western Iraq is the scene of the fiercest combat close to Iraq's border with Syria and Jordan. To counter al-Qaeda's superiority in speed and surprise, the U.S. has sent the Iraqi army Hellfire surface-to-air missiles. They are already in use against al-Qaeda camps on the Syrian border. Next, Washington is sending out small, long-endurance, unmanned aerial scan eagles. These drones are the best suited to combat in Anbar's deep wadis and the halophyte thickets lining the Euphrates River. In this topsy-turvy scenario, Washington and Tehran share another surprising motive to save the Assad regime in Damascus from al-Qaeda's long arms. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov noted cannily on December 26, attitudes are changing in Western countries. They are becoming more realistic in their approach towards the Syrian crisis. The threat of terrorism in Syria of jihadists coming to power of creating a caliphate with extremist laws, these are the main problems. Since the Syrian chemical issue was addressed in September, Russian-Iranian-American collaboration is growing strong. The joint U.S.-Iranian war on al-Qaeda is strengthening Tehran's grip on Syria. It gives Vladimir Putin hope for keeping al-Qaeda away from the Winter Olympics at Sochi and Barack Obama's hope of transposing this collaboration to the Afghanistan arena. This has been a Debka File exclusive presentation.